My name is Pascal Mola, and I'm principal dancer with the San Francisco Ballet. The first person who really inspired me to become like a dancer is Michael Jackson. During the 80s, it was hip hop, break dancing, and Michael Jackson, and it was everywhere. I had to make a, like a big decision in my life between soccer and dancing. I tried classical ballet for a few months, and a few months later, I was in Paris Opera School. Uh, we had the chance, because it was a new building, to have everything at one place. As, as a student, we, are, we were calling uh, the building like the Golden Girl. Because it was brand new, everything was great, but we were like in the block of five days out of seven. Alors Pascal Mola, 14 ans, oui. élève de l'école de danse, mm. fou de jazz, c'était euh, une musique de Prince. Oui. Et tu as l'habitude de danser sur cette musique-là parce que c'est particulier, mais on voit, on reconnaît quand même le danseur classique. Oui, c'est sûr, on a, on a toujours une petite tenue ou quelque chose comme ça. Mais euh, c'est-à-dire que souvent, euh, à l'atelier, je vois des, des gens comme Prince, Michael Jackson, et puis ça me donne envie de bouger, ça me, ça me motive, quoi. Alors, quelle est la direction que tu vas prendre L'opéra ou bien la comédie musicale L'opéra. L'opéra, c'est sûr Sans aucun doute, oui. Even if I decided to go in a classical direction, the kind of movement I loved as a kid is still very much a part of who I am. It is always there when I want to return to it, and from time to time, I do. Before I was in the Royal Ballet of Flanders and I was doing more uh, classical repertoire. Then I went to the um, Les Ballets de Monte Carlo where it was more contemporary. I just wanted to express myself in many ways I, I could and Francis, San Francisco Ballet was the perfect place for me to do that with the repertoire that they have here. We have many great choreographers coming here. We are so, um, so, bl so blessed for that. Uh, when we had, of course, William Forsythe coming, uh, McGregor, who is coming back uh, this season for uh, another ballet that we're going to do called Chroma. I love to work with Yuri Posokov simply because everything he's doing is, uh, is coming from his heart. Is always like very emotionally. There is every step has the meaning, and when he show you the step, actually, it's very difficult to go wrong. I love to work with also Yorma, Yorma Elo, when we were doing double Evo. Uh, a very different way of working than working than Yuri, for example. Show you like ten step like in one second, and you just like just saw a blur. It was like the collaboration for that was very exciting. I have to say that I like the ballet with a story to tell. And actually one of my favorite roles, one that I really affectionate a lot, it's Mercutio in Romeo and Juliet. It's a complex role. You can either say, oh, maybe Mercutio is in love with Romeo, or maybe Mercutio is just all about women. You can go many different ways that you have to choose your own path to, from A to Z to make it like a continuity. But he has a lot to offer and that's why I think I love this character. I really like to, to change actually uh, my personality to the character. So it's very close to the, uh, the work of actor. I always try to be very well prepared uh, to know what I want to say. Being a father, it's, a, it's another dimension, it's another perspective in life. Uh, seeing your son like running with two open arms saying Papa and one having a hug after a day of work, your heart is just melting. You rediscover almost everything through the eyes of your child. He doesn't know it, but I remember last year he was just born and I was doing Petrushka. He had like so many expressions already that actually like helped me for doing Petrushka. I was like, that's such a beautiful, sad face. Uh, to have Matis in my life uh, bring me so much uh, joy. The most valuable thing about ballet 
it is a universal language. And you don't need to explain anything. You don't need any words. It's like painting or music, and it speaks to everybody. And that's the power of dancing, and that's the power of the art.